Hi everyone, welcome back to Misbehaving in B-17 The Mighty Eighth, mission number 21. Yes, 20 missions complete, 30 odd kills to our name. Today, well, it's going to be a little bit spicier than last time. Last time out for mission number 20, they sent us to northern France, to Brest, to bomb the U-boat base. Um, today, we're heading to Bremen. Yeah, oil refineries... Um, Fogville Factory, the usual, are the targets on our list. Um, oil refinery is primary, so that is what we are preparing to bomb. And uh, let me show you the route as engine two kicks in. So we'll be taking off from Deanthorpe, heading over East Anglia, and then cutting down into Bremen. So we've got the oil refinery, the port, and the Fogville Factory. There's no easy way to do it. I wonder if we actually come... Hmm. See, we could come and take some more flak flying through here. We could come wide and try and hit them from this angle. Less flak, but we could in trigger another... Uh, oh, I think that would probably be triggered anyway, wouldn't it? And that's terrible, so let's sort that out straight away. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's come further east. I'll make sure I haven't just dragged us in there. We're fine there. Um, and then we'll do runs this way. Taxi to runway. Just keep us out of the flak a little bit longer. And the flak, yeah, I know the enemy fighters, especially the Fogwolf 190s, are deadly. But I, I would state the flak is probably our worst enemy. Got a chance against the, uh, the fighters. Not so much against the flak. It's just a bit of luck of the draw, right? So that is a 90 degree turn, which we do not want. So let's get that right there. And sort those out a little bit. Good. Um, so I'm happy, fairly happy with that. Uh, what should we do bombing altitude wise? I'm not going to go at 15,000. Let's go in at 28. Cleared for Right, we're up and we're away. English coast below us, just through the cloud. You might be able to see it. It's um, 8.49 in the morning, coming up to 28,000 feet, which is our cruise and bombing altitude. Our uh, speed is 149 miles an hour, heading 076. So we're on our way. Um, the clouds look better over there, heavier over the UK. Fingers crossed it will improve and uh, we will have a clear um, sight to target when we get our bomb run. Okay, we're making our turn, heading in more of a southerly direction into the range of the Luftwaffe fighters. So, yeah, check your guns, keep your eye out. This is where it might get a little bit tasty. I'm not talking about these maneuvers. Bandits, uh, we just had a pass. Bandits, seven o'clock high now. Uh, they will pass straight below us. Um, they've now turned, and they'll probably be coming back. I can't see them. Uh, dropped into that cloudy haze behind us. Uh, but yeah, enemy fighters are with us. I um, don't see any damage or hear any calls out, so I think we're all okay. Aircraft dropping down. Yep, 
ME 109s or BF 109s. He's coming around, he's coming around. I didn't get much of that, but the rest of the guys did. Low. Why is everyone firing over here then? He's taking some hits. Man oh, well. He's a friend in his tail, to say. Here he comes. He's up. No, that's a. Looks like a Mustang. One of the escorts. So, where's this five o'clock low? I haven't seen him yet. Shooting at the four part level. I think um, the little friend got caught up in the blast with that 109. Oh, got engine on fire. Got him. Uh, that looks like a dead engine. Hopefully that won't make us turn around. The engine's still going. I thought... Oh, it's still going. Okay, fair enough. I thought that looked like a dead engine all day long. You can see the, the back... Uh, the char marks on the, uh, the tail. Oh, we're dropping back, though. Oh, no. Lucky Ducky is taking the uh, the lead. There's nothing worse than being left behind by the squad. Oh my goodness. Right. Whoa. Enemy fighter. Um, if, we, if we can't stay... Oh, it is a dead engine. I, th I was looking at engine um, four, but it's actually engine three that's gone. Right. Um, it's feather three. We're going to have to um, head home. We can't stay with the formation, unfortunately. Uh, which may make us vulnerable to these fighter attacks. That is an awful sight to see, isn't it? Seeing the rest of the squadron sail on without you. Okay, uh, let's jettison these bombs, lighten the load, give us a better chance of being able to, uh, well, not the bomb, um, actually do stuff, switch it on, open Bombay doors. Yeah, doing about 95 miles an hour, trying to stay with them. Jettison bombs. Should start to see the speed pick up a little bit. Close Bombay doors. Bombay doors closed. Switch that off. Right, let's stick you back on the um, the turret. Um, I can't even see the formation now. That's how far back we've dropped. Right, let's give the word then. Um, we are leaving formation. Ah, uh, good luck, boys. Fortunately, uh, we just got to give all our attention to ourselves and try and survive the route home. Meanwhile, as we set home, Lucky Ducky is now flight lead. target, have they? Don't see anything that they've hit. Oh, there they are, look. They've, 
Uh, I don't think they've hit the target. I'm not sure where they were. There, there's the target there. Uh, their bombs have dropped there. So unfortunately, without our skilled bombardier at work, um, the rest of the flight has missed the target by probably a couple of miles. Well, maybe not that. Maybe a mile or so. Which would be deemed accurate, <laughs> believe it or not. But they, they've got to fly through. They've got no flak, which surprises me. But um, anyway, we'll con concentrate on our own survival. Okay. Well, a long flight later. It's um, 20 to 2 in the afternoon. Um, that's not our home base. That's the fighter base. Uh, that's our home base there. Oh, we've made it. The good thing is, despite the, um, the damage to the engine in 3, um, she's still... Okay, it's okay. I know I can see the base. It's okay. Uh, we'll bring it in as quickly as we can, get her landed, and um, yeah, debrief to the uh, officials and let them know how we're getting on. All right, let's see if this gear comes down. No, it doesn't. I feared that. That's why I went early. So let's get Emig to get that um, starboard gear down. All right, orders issued. back put a bit of flap as the uh, gear should start to be cranked down I will obviously can't do that approach so we'll pull away and um, prepare for a different runway oh look under the nose it's the bombers the rest of the formation is coming into land it's take we've been so slow on three engines that the rest of the formation have finished the bomb run and returned at the same time. Crikey. Yeah, coming into land. Orbit and wait for landing clearance. Okay. Um we're just going to come in. The bomber has now passed the middle section where this runway will cross. So we're just going to uh, right here we go. I'm going to use a bit more throttle than normally because of the dead engine. Oh no! There's been a crash on the runway. I don't need any more things to distract me as we're coming into land. There we go. We're down. Oh, that is a beautiful landing. Oh, if that undercarriage holds. There we go. Okay, well, we're down safely. I can't say them much for two of the uh, the aircrews over there. Stand. Taxi might be a bit of a problem. That gear is about to collapse. If we could just clear the runway. So, into mission debriefing we go. This is going to be an interesting read. So, um, April 30th, 1944. No target attack for us um, because we were, well, we were damaged and had to turn back early. Distance flown, 1167 miles. Bombers lost, missing one. Enemy fighter shot down four. Uh, obviously, the bomb damage uh, estimate was complete miss. Uh, no injury suffered, um, apart from the engine, we were all okay. So, um, commanding officer's summary, no promotions, medals awarded, technical sergeant Emig, a soldier's medal. That's probably for shooting down that 109, I think, which got our engine, and then um, getting the undercarriage down to get us to land safely. Um, yeah, it was all American too, crashed in friendly territory, 10 on board were sadly killed. Thankfully, the other bomber seems to be okay. Maybe that had been abandoned, who knows. Heading into the commander's office. There we go, 21 missions complete, 34 aircraft killed. Okay, mission number 21, we got there in the end. So, um, Bremen Oil Refinery, it was the primary target. It was a complete miss. Obviously, we weren't involved in the actual bomb run. 
Fighter shot down. Uh, our replacement tail gunner, Volmer, shot down a 109, which is great news. Uh, and Emig wasn't rewarded the um, the 109, which I thought we'd hit, which got our engine. So, okay, only one more fighter cross to add to the aircraft. Never mind. Okay, well, fair enough. Happy days. Um, good news. Although our bombardier had done great for six missions, Brad Cubit has returned, which is great to have our original bombardier back. Uh, he's got good gunnery, but he's got excellent bomb aiming. Navigator Charles Taylor. Excellent navigation. Fantastic. Welcome back, Charles. Uh, Stubbs was getting lost a few times, but he still had good gunnery. Uh, sorry, I keep saying gunnery. He had good navigation, um, our replacement navigator, but um, it's good to have Charles back. Drew Beasley continues uh, as our newly promoted captain and pilot. Excellent piloting. Um, Harlan McKnight, uh, now in the co-pilot seat, has got good piloting, but obviously improving all the time. Keith Emig, our top turret gunner and engineer. Uh, excellent gunnery. Good technical skills. Yay, he's boosted that up. Or was it, was it always good? I can't remember. I thought it was above average, but I can't remember. Robert Hatcher continues in the uh, radio operator's position for us. Um, hasn't had much things to do. He's done a couple of first aids uh, in earlier missions, but nothing since. George Wheeler continues with his excellent gunnery in the ball turret. Uh, Jerry Weimer, I think that's how you or Weimer. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. A new replacement gunner on the left waist, average gunnery. Right waist, we've got Paul Carter for his second mission as a re um, replacement, doing okay. And on the tail, um, oh, Worsley has returned. Oh, so um, our, <laughs> our tail gunner replacement got one kill and then he's been shipped off to another crew. Uh, and John Worsley has returned with his excellent gun gunnery on the tail, which is fantastic news. So 21 missions down. Four missions to go. The end is in sight. This is usually when the rug gets pulled from under your feet, but we will see where they send us for mission number 22. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.